Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 17 of Let's Play Total War Three Kingdoms, The Eight Princes, where we are at war with Sima Wei, and we are Sima Xiong. Um, so yeah, the, uh, we've destroyed two princes, and apparently Sima Wei has decided that we are a massive problem. Probably because we killed two princes. Actually, no, we killed one prince, and... I don't actually know what happened to Simeon. I never looked. And that's in this part, yeah. So let's see if we can find him. So, uh, this one's, yep, yeah, not the right part. We need to, we need a Sima. So let's go like this. Sorry, so Simi Ying, Simi Wei. Nope, they, they're nothing to do with each other. Oh, it's, uh, uh Simi Ying. There's, uh, Sima A and Sima Wei. Sima Liang. That's Sima Lun. Oh my fucking god, they have a massive fucking branch. And there are the sons of Sima Yi. The great, glorious bastard that he was. Um, yeah, I f don't think anyone is related to... Like, anyone is directly related to Sima Wei at this point. Sorry, Sima Young. I think I killed him. Nope, that's him, isn't it? He's part of the green. I don't know what faction. What faction are you part of? Well, you you obviously hate me because I fucked you up. You're a part of Song Wei. Damn. So none of the eight princes have been killed. It's just he currently doesn't have uh, a plate, like a pedestal or a part. He's not part of any of the princes. He's also lame. Lame, cunning, fiery, indecisive. He can't have been that indecisive, because, I mean, he tried to declare war. He declared war on me pretty uh, fi uh, pretty quickly. Uh, my army over here, once this army's ready, will be bringing to brought to bear. But let's see what these guys do. I'm hoping they run into Sima Chao's ambush. Nope, he went that way. Right. I don't know if I can catch him without, you know, force marching. But if we force march, join it leaves us in the us. same problem they would be in. And unfortunately, Simi Yan, I can't we were join. Too generous. You were not generous enough, I think you mean. I mean, 50 grand and I still wouldn't declare war on the Jin Empire right now. To duty. At ease. Uh, the Empress demands that traitors be crushed. It is clear that many have seen the opportunity in the chaos at court, and their own treasonous desires have manifest. The Empress has charged you of being the sword of justice that cuts down the would-be usurpers. I'm gonna crush opposition as I fucking should. Swift aggressive action required, and so you march. Take the Anding farmland. I don't know who the fuck owns it, but I've gotta take it. Oh, Sima no. Chow, you glorious bastard, you can fucking reach him. Right, so they have a trebuchet as well, which means they're not gonna play fair, and neither am I. Let desire shape I have cavalry, and, and they don't, but they do have a lot of spit. Well, they do have cavalry, but they don't have like heavy cav. The two spearmen are gonna be fucking problematic, but they're they're on force march, which means they're gonna be tired and not really want to fight that much to begin with. No. You have a, yeah, you have the ancestral pl ancestral pledge and the black drag. I want both of those. I don't know what they have, but this Impossible. is not. This is he's family. He's just not close family. Nurture, passion. Could I get you close enough to? Oh, I fucking could as well. Gather we want to strength. decimate that army. On the march. And as such, oh wait. Ever upwards. Perfect. Right. Truth Perfect. An flame. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how we're going to destroy. This army. Because his two spearmen, I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm worried about them. If I was fighting at night, it'd be a period victory. But if I fight during the day, it's decisive. What's the map look like? Perfect. I'm going to do another quick save, and we're going to start the battle. Father and son, finally fighting a battle together. Wow, they have, I've just realized, my, those two armies have the exact same men. Alright, they have some crossbowmen. I have two crossbowmen, but I have three, two trebuchets. They have one. They have two cav, and I have six. I think this fight should be pretty good. I'm going to come at them. I'm going to try a two-army approach. March my main army, and then march a second. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm going to put all my armies together, depending on where they come from. 
Because if I put all my men together, then it's going to be fucking... It's going to be a glorious destruction of the enemy. And I'm going to make them come to me. Yep. My men are going to... We're, gonna, we're just going to... I'm going to sh shift them over here. Our reinforcements it up quick, quick. So everyone, once everyone turns on and gets on the map, then we'll uh, worry about putting men places. Prepare. Right, you... And you. There you. Go. The rest of you guys, I want you to get there. All right, you guys, and you guys, get over here. Oh yeah, you guys turn. Turn off that, and you guys. Turn off the fire arrows on. They're going to want me to come to them, which is great, but we're, I, I need to get all my army together. The biggest problem is going to be these fucking little pains in the ass. Yeah, uh, both of you. Flame bound round. Is that what it's called? Flammable round. Flame bound round sounds way cooler. Right, again, everyone but you guys. No, 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 no. I want eagle's wings. Right, now I can... Oh, fuck. Right, we need to do eagle. We'll, we'll need to redo the eagle wing. Because my uh, infantry did, were, were not squared up. Right, you guys. Group one, you'll need, uh, you'll need you two in that group as well. Well, group two. You guys. Group three, group four, uh, group five, four, group four. You need your cavalry as well. Group three, group four, and group five. All right, this battle may take a while, ladies and gentlemen, purely because of me trying to do this in uh, the way I am. Alright. My army should be ready to march now. Uh, we'll get to... There. Now, because it doesn't seem to be a time limit, I'm going to make sure my men take... Well, I'm going to let my men walk. because if we don't walk, these fuckers are going to be way too far behind. Um, I could put you guys into spear wall. I, if they end up advancing on me, I will put my men into spear wall just to ensure that they don't uh, fuck me up. And there's a lot of maps to uh, traverse, but we've got to make sure that all of my men like traverse in the right, like in the right way. We can't just have obviously my infantry and that get there without using my trebuchets. Because they have trebuchets as well. What's the real difference between an arch militia and then... Mostly just heavy armor and armor piercing and range and amount of ammo and health. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. Which is pretty interesting. I like how all my men near and uh, yeah, all my men have like rigid lines, which is great. Once you get into position, we can move again. Yeah, Sima Jung's men are going to be very tired purely because they were uh, I forced march them up here, which is why these guys are slightly slower than these guys. There we 
go. Like have, I actually want you to come up here. I'm going to try and uh, see if I can spot them. Because if I can spot them, then I can shoot at them. This is our range right now. I'm expecting them to be about here. Which is why when we move up to here... Hmm. Oh, they're not fucking marching at all, are they? No, they've got a trebuchet. They're not going to march. And they're fucking way further away than I expected. I've got a plan. I have got a plan. I don't know how well this plan's going to work, but... It's going to take a fucking while to implement, though, so I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, one of those long-form uh, plans. Yeah, my faction leader and son will take up two separate flanks. Beautiful. My infantry should do a good job of uh, holding the line. Even the ones that are tired shouldn't be very problematic. The problem is, I don't know how, when I'm going to be in range of their trebuchet. I know that my light cav probably are, and I'm at this point I'm essentially sacrificing them. Uh, to try and see if I can get, my, uh, get a read on where the rest of their army is. Hidden units! An ambush! Well, there's the horse archers. The trebuchet keeps turning. And no, we're fucking miles away. Even there, we're nowhere near close enough. But, I mean, I can try this. It's the method of trying to constantly keep their trebuchet turning and not in one position while I march. Right, let's uh, get you guys and move you up again. Essentially, I want them about there. The enemy lies in wait for us. No, they don't. These numbskulls couldn't fucking kill me even if they wanted to. The problem is the AI, I've done this before, the AI will follow your infantry. Let's have a look at these two spearmen. Holy shit, they look cool. Holy fuck, they actually have tried... They, they are plinking my men. I'm doing a relatively decent job of it. Thank God these are my light cav and not my, uh, you know, cavalry I actually care about. Like, these bad boys. Move out quickly. And these bad boys. So this is my medium cav. This is my heavy cav. And these are my pissy, piss annoying cav that are... Uh, Seemingly doing a great job of pissing off their uh, trebuchet because he keeps turning. Speed up a little bit. They're not killing as many as they could have. I I'll give them that. Hidden units, an ambush. Shit. Come by this way. Come on. Right, I think Trebuchet is going to nearly be in range. Uh, come and sit in those forests. Yeah, they've lost track of our men, my men, which means they should turn themselves around. Those two spearmen look deadly as fuck, I'm not going to lie. Weak against missile attacks. Thank God I have crossbows with me. Right, we're right close to each other now. Pop out again, lads. Say hello to the trebuchet. I like how what I'm literally I'm just literally running in between trees to try and uh, make them like just try and make them do something so I can, you know, continue my uh, brilliant plan of uh, fucking these guys up without them being able to touch my men. I'll admit, ladies and gentlemen, this battle is gonna take a while at this point. Pace. But once we reach here, we should be fine. At least my trebuchet should need to move from there. 
go put you in that tree line there. Kim Jong, you're gonna go find yourself. Yep. Ah, they let you rehide. Go hide there. I'm expecting a trebuchet to start plinking off my men pretty soon. They don't have flammable rounds though, it seems, which is obviously going to make life much easier. They are doing what I expect them to do though. They're uh, getting annoyed at my, my uh, men constantly running around and just pissing them off. And to say I've only lost 12 units because of it makes me pretty happy. Yep, Trebuchet can now fire, which means they'll want to fight me. Which means I can now move every art unit bar my Trebuchet without worry. So it should be everything. But... One step closer to victory. I, I don't how I don't get how we're one step closer to victory just because we got hidden. Stay over there, guys. They don't even realize my men are right there. I mean, how can I not do this? It's fucking nearly poetic. I basically just caught them on caught them off guard right there. Not that I'm going to get any kills, but I've, I've ch essentially, all I'm doing is keeping them from paying attention to my main line, which as we can see is working fucking spectacularly. Like my main line has been able to advance pretty much all the way across the map without being harassed. I mean, these guys, they are plinking at me, but it's plinking. It's not like I'm doing where I've like got fucking hundreds of kills. Where is their trebuchet? Oh, that's what we routed. That's fucking hilarious. Look, the enemy run. Nearby fire on fire. Oh, Jesus Christ, these guys are fucked. And the worst, best part about it, this is my in my line hasn't even reached them yet. Too much, so much disarray, ladies and gentlemen. That they just they can't focus on us. And now we've lost 14 units so far. Like, infantry-wise. Uh, sorry, cavalry-wise. And, I mean, it, in response, we've got, like, hundreds of kills because of it. Can you not fucking see? No, they look, they look like they're finally out of range of us. Yeah, no one's gonna... Oh, no, he's out of range. He might... He probably will be. Not that it would end well for him. Go kill off that trebuchet and make sure it doesn't return. You are weak. Shut up and die. Come and say hello to him, Sima Chow. Heed, I don't even think their I think their cows can outrun my men, but oh wait, can the crossbows plink at them now? Must prevail. Apparently he would like to duel Sima Chow. And apparently these trees don't matter to us. Alright, let's see how this goes for him. Where are my cows? Keep up! I know you can do it. Is that your best? Uh cow? Come on! Kill! Try harder! Apparently my men are just. N I may I may have accidentally turned them off. Yep, I did. Stand ready. Yeah, my car frags are still fast enough to catch them. Good. And the worst the worst thing for them is they now have to come against my line because I've baited them. 
attention. Look, the enemy run. Craven. I'm not worried about Seaman Chow. I'm pretty sure he's going to uh, remain extremely victorious and life's going to be awesome. And their front line isn't even going to get to my front line. Because Chu Spearman, if they hate anything, they hate my men. And you're not using normal arrows. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. Sorry, not, they're not, they're not, um, I dearly hope your blade is sharper than your wit. They're heavy infantry, which means flaming shot is nowhere near as useful as normal shot. Shit, 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 shit. get the fuck run. out of there. Craven. Oh, you killed them on you. Pull out, pull the fuck out. They've got fucking shoe spearmen on you. Splash damage to kill the him off. Phoenix rises! The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Alright, that should pretty much be their entire uh Reason for fighting done. Go break those. Actually, no. You guys stick to killing off the enemy. Go, go, go! At this point, I just want to make sure none of these guys get away. Ashna, no, you come kill them. As soon as these guys, as soon as the enemy didn't reach my front line, we'll just need to, we just need to kill off as many men as we can. They're not, we're not going to break. We're not going to kill them. But the two spearmen, if we hit them with both my men, they'll be dead. They'll be fucked. There's only 13 of them. And they're peasant bands. So they're nowhere near as like important. Kill them anyway. Make sure you guys kill off who you can. Kill them. They're important to die. At this point, two spearmen are what we need to uh, completely and utterly eviscerate. And of course, we need the killing off the generals to just make this much easier for us. I'm gonna fucking help. I'm leaving no two spearmen alive if I can help it. Or any units to that can come back and haunt, uh, annoy me. Fight! To battle! Cavalry! To attention! Still 22 spearmen. The they enemy ha general falls! I was about to say, if they have what? generals left, then no we, need, we need to keep killing. Right, speed it up a little bit. It apparently took us half an hour in game battle time to do this. Which is near enough, right? I mean, it took us about 20 minutes. There we go. I think that was a little bit more decisive than the game I was expecting because I used two units. I mean, it's very, it's very powerful how two units of cav can distract you, and then all you need is archers. Like you don't Life even need a front line. Fleeting, as is victory. In these chaotic times, only the strongest can survive the storm that ravages China. The weak are not so fortunate. Outmaneuvered and isolated, a faction was crushed. Heaven rewarded our passion. 357 men lost to their 2,000. Oh, you're, you're dying. I just don't want you anywhere near my men. Cost us no more. And we'll take the, we'll take the money, I thank will you. Show mercy this time. I refuse. The fact that that army remains is Hush, bullshit. I answer your but request. I believe Sima Chow has got the message. He's not going to win. I bid you welcome, my lord. Channel passion. Who calls? There we go. The army is now in the same layout that I would like it in. And my lord, you who was uh, leveled up. Your request. Uh we wanna get you across the top. I cannot. This will be short. Recent losses plus nine point five. One battle, and he's already... He, 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 he's Essentially, if he hadn't just declared war on me, he'd be done. Uh, ooh, we could upgrade that. Hmm. 
There's a lot of builds we can do. But the first things first, I think we should look and see what... Actually, is that a copper mine? That's a copper mine, isn't it? No, it's a tool maker. Can we upgrade the copper mine? We already have a max to copper mine. The iron mine, we can't max out and do any more until just yet. Tool maker up here. We've had this one longer, therefore I'll upgrade that one first. There we go, and then we'll upgrade everywhere else. Um, yeah, we'll upgrade you. And you're the only one who has anything you want to build, and that's this building. And you need to do something. Um, ooh, yeah, we'll do the uh, remove corruption. Is there any corruption in the most in our best placed as slot sum? So we'll do that and give satisfaction to all my generals. She's the only general who's not in the army right now, which is uh, sorry, only uh, noble who's not in the army, not part like in the army itself. And I think we need to get another turn done, so let's get it done. Just not what I fucking clicked game, but all right. Let's see what Sima Wei does. He's not even moving that army. Oh, he did. He did. I'll let him off. Oh shit. Yeah, I still want to see what the enemy are doing. I don't remember why I turned that off, or if I did, I probably turned it off in a personal game when I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. For the right, Emperor. if this asshole wants to die so badly. Moving out toward glory. Actually, you Forward. go there. Now and we you wait. go to this side. Restore order. Unless he gets that army home, that army's doing nothing annoying to me. Game to the Overseer. Oh, I've got a new trait and a craft workshop was built. Upgrade the salt mine, just do it. Money. I mean, this army's done, but I don't need it right now. So I'm actually just going to leave you here for now. Also, I swear she should be in charge. Yeah, you are now in charge of this army. It's not the one, but we have that one. Yeah, I try. Uh, you're a legendary figure, whereas that's just. Oh, that's my son. Doesn't matter. What he do should be the wish, general. He's my. He's my. He's my, he's my fucking flesh and blood. Right. Not possible. Simaway's army is really powerful because it has Carfrax. But it's it's him that's the problem. He hits like a fucking shit Winter's brick house. Balls. Melt away. No. He does lack in the uh, shooting department. Oh shit, shoot infantry. Ah, that's his other unit. A unit I haven't encountered yet. They're not as armored as his uh, spearman counterpart, but they are, uh, well, they are good. But again, my what I favor is missiles and what they're weak to is missiles. So I, I have what they're like they hate. So in that regard, I'm fine. The Jin Empire is walking from my territory again. Not something I'm overly fond of, but I can't really do much about. Oh, I gave them access, didn't I? So yeah, it's not a problem. Um, I need to get to see my way, but there's so much land in between us that if I attack him, or if I take his territory, I'm essentially just doing something, in my opinion, that's stupid. Um... So let's jump. We'll get in this part here, and in the next part, we'll see what Seema Way does. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys then.